Reno Black, folks. Mahalo. And from Hawaii, we are basically have a gigantic matchup with all this that's basically going to drive people goofy. If they're not explained to them what the hell is going on. And also watch right up here. Also. And I'm telling you, it's freaky because basically I'm looking at it right now. It almost looks like there's something wrong with the computer screen, okay? And there's not. Okay? And we have this that we keep on seeing down in Antarctica off of the Australia Auroras, or I'm probably saying it wrong. A couple of eyes, it's New Year's Eve, folks. So anyway, but you can see all these black, gray blotches, okay? And then they're going to go out of the picture here in a few minutes, and all this stuff up here. And basically, this is the Witches of Eastwick or whatever we've seen in the past down there in Antarctica that I showed you in photos. Uh, this stuff, let me match this up so that you understand if anybody's new. And IE, folks, this is exactly what we're seeing, okay? So this stuff comes in at the South Pole, Antarctic, Antarctica, okay? And the sun is in the supergiants, i.e. it just comes up certain, like, prox semi centauri and rigel Cantaris B and A both uh, come up in a little bit different directions on us because they're in a squiggly line in the supergiants, and they are directly in line in front of and above and below and there is more than 100 suns in the super giants that are four to 74 times the size of the sun okay and then there's also dead objects and i believe that's what's given us our holographical show down here on earth i let me go back right back to hawaii so i don't lose your train of thought and there you go you got this these items here folks okay and it all matches up the stuff up here is just like the Witches of Eastwick that I've showed you down here on the pictures in the past videos. This here matches up with the big blob that we've just seen on my pictures of right there. That's it. Okay, and also here. Okay, and to show you and prove you even more, you see this? And it also crosses a haze on the ocean and so forth, and you're going to see more of it. These all should be the same blotches. And if not, then I got to find the other blotch action. Well, that's our black blob, and then our basically looks like a frozen asteroid on top. We zoomed in on. Okay, so let me make sure I get the right pictures for you. Once more, I'll show you the planet that I zoomed in on, too. That there. You see that planet that we end up zooming in on off, off of the ship? And it looks like it's got moons, terahydrons, or whatever. Two or three for sure. So, and I think this might go into, and this may be then that same object there. And then we might have, I think this is it, that we will start seeing the, that was it zoomed in real big that was about it I can get a thousand I think in on that okay so also let me get to the black splooches they gotta be here somewhere hang on Okay, folks, we found them. And also, they're interesting, they're, these are also star clusters out there uh, hitting the ship almost like they hit the uh, video that I have at, uh, let me go to that real fast. And you watch this wild radar star, and you let people see that, and they will freak out, folks. You see that. Show that to people. So watch this video right here that's on my channel. And also for radar and everything, I mean for CPM and RADs, from Fukujima, Fuka Fudge Up. Uh, you can check out radiation and make sure to see how things are for everybody. So Happy New Year, folks. There's bad news out there, but the idea that as long as people know and are in safe areas 
if they're childbearing or whatever, they'll be all right in two or three years and then be safe in other areas. So, but high rads areas are unsafe for children under the, the age of probably five, but three would be the most cautionary thing you should try to do or unbirthed. All right. It's not good. And yep, folks, I hate the music too. So all I can do is shut the music off, but, uh, let people, uh, check out every, all my videos and make sure you watch this because you want to know about this big marvel here because it's out there folks and so is the meatball So we've seen as wild as this asteroid or a comet, okay? That's not no playing around with you folks. That actually caught off a live webcam down there off that ship, okay? That object right there. So we've got all kinds of stuff, and and the number one thing is this Witches of Eastwick stuff. And you see the, the darkness gray there? This is not clouds, folks. This stuff is up there in space and being impregnated down to Earth. And also that large object there and other large objects. This is the Witches of Eastwick that we're talking about. It's amazing how all this stuff matches up. So you're going to watch all these spots, folks, and look at them. There's spots up here, 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 everywhere there's spots, okay? And it matches up, and also check that out, and it all matches up in the archives of Witches of Eastwick that we got down there. Okay, off in the distance, and you can see the dark splooge, okay? So the supergiant objects are up there, and they're going to keep coming. And it could be until like 2019 or so. And people are going to have to get used to it. Will the stuff hit the ground? We don't know. And there's triangulations that hit the snow down there too. Black light, see those triangulations? Bam, bam, and bam. This stuff's all out there in space. And they're worried about it. And that's why they went. the Marines went to Antarctica. Our Marines went to Australia, but they're real close to Antarctica to be able to go down there. So this stuff's all out there, folks. Our history book, our Bible has told us in the past that people have went crazy and looking into the light and all the stuff, stuff like that. Uh, so this stuff's all out there. It's going to drive people goofy. It's just holograms down to earth. Hopefully none of the stuff will get close enough to us. And hopefully the sun will take out all the, our path or whatever. And hopefully we'll have a clear path. We've always had in the past. So, But this stuff is going to be seen and it freaks people out. Okay, it's gonna freak people out. People can pull stuff. Okay, so stuff's out there. So watch, folks. They're just gonna plop, plop away. And we've always seen this one and this one for sure. Okay, and other people may have seen that one and this one too. But we're gonna watch this stuff disappear now. Watch, but their planets are way up there by the sun, the super giants. And we let this play, and we'll see what we end up with today. Now, there is an airplane that takes off on one of these. I've seen it, like, about, yeah, right there. That was an airplane. Because you watch the tickets and the minutes are moving pretty fast today. Now, you have to go ahead and find out the other objects because some of the other ones might be moving too fast and maybe actually be comets or something like that going by. Okay? So there are some that look like they could be what we've already proven in the fa past. And that, you know, that wasn't an airplane. So, it's winter solstice. But see, this is, if anything that you see flashing across the sky now, and like even earlier, that I was always telling you to watch with it, it's not an airplane. The stuff was, uh, it's not part of the, the, there you go, I don't know, that could have been a plane, but I don't know, I, don't, I think those are possibly what we've been talking about in the past. The stuff just, we know that that's comets up there, so. So there's the V's actions and stuff like that. Because you can watch the time. And a lot of this stuff is going to be comets and stuff out in space moving around. Not this stuff down here. We know that this is automobiles and so forth down there. Okay. And some can be airplanes. But m the majority is basically comets and action going by. So let's watch that again. And then you can play it again and 
There goes the black booges. Same stuff that we've been seeing down at Antarctica. And yes, there's a couple airplanes in this, but I don't believe that one was. And just watch the ticker. It's the minutes. You got hours and minutes there. Hours, minutes, and seconds. Right down here, folks. I'm sure you can see it. So, and we're going to have some common action here in a minute. Now you start seeing some comments. Falling stars, comments, asteroids. It's pretty awesome. As you can watch, it's just the minutes ticking there, so the idea that there's no way that anything can travel across the sky that damn fast. So it's rather astounding. And I believe that we are getting it to come up during the daytime in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, probably farther to the east of Hawaii. What we've normally been seeing. And basically this, this one was short. So let me see if I got enough time to throw another video in here, folks. And yes, I heard some people talking tonight on the internet. And yeah, basically, because you can see west. And if you're laying on the ground, uh, the arrows are going to be north. Okay, with the arrows in these shots. And basically, you're going to see right here, this is in New Mexico, okay, folks? So the idea that that possibly could be the moon, but I really don't think it's the moon. I think you are getting basically exactly all of our objects up that has been being seen down in Antarctica. And it's because it's moved more towards the east. Because right now, this is the Zulu time. And about the same time we used to see the objects down in Antarctica. Arctica and at Hawaii's footage that we just showed you. Okay, so this is New Mexico live tonight at 10:07 p.m. 12:31. Happy New Year to a lot of people in the world right now. So, and you can see all this stuff, folks, getting reflected down from space. Okay, that's what they call Planet X because it's got like a mark on it that you can see. So they've been seeing all this stuff. You can see though that there and that. Now we can go back to the constellation map. And you can maybe match some stuff up. Okay. A lot of stars and so forth. Especially Bataglius and Okay, so let's pop real fast and see if we can see anything match up. And some what you do. So you can match stuff up. So it's a very beautiful night to be looking at the action because <clears throat> this could possibly be the moon, especially since we're sitting at a half moon. But you are seeing the glow and seeing other objects in space that are bleeding through, folks, and that halo also. Stuff that we were seeing dark down at, uh, so that's New Mexico. There's New Mexico State University. So, but what's really crystal clear is that is not a reflection of the moon. That's the moonlight reflecting on some planets with possibly two moons or whatever or something or near it. And also here at Planet X. So there's going to be stuff that's going to keep freaking people out. There's TELUS. Okay. And with that being East Coast, I believe you, uh, and being the, the arrow is north, and when you're laying on the ground that this is west over here, that the idea that it, it possibly could be the moon, but I'm really wondering because we're supposed to have a half moon, and that's not half. Okay, and then that's where look there too. So I think the moon should be more central looking right now. I'd have to go look outside, and I honestly don't want to. It's too damn cold, and I like the eyeser right now. So this is live views tonight in the sky. 
See if we got time to look at it in Hawaii and see if it loaded. So happy.